Now, I'm a veterinary dermatologist and we spend uh, our days working on problem skin diseases. A lot of that is uh, itchy dogs, so we spend uh, most of our days talking about allergy, whether to foods or environment or uh, fleas and insects. One of the biggest problems that we're plagued with uh, as veterinarians and in particular as veterinary dermatologists is asking pet owners how itchy their dogs are or what types of behaviors that they do. And the challenge with that is that like most of us, they're not home for most of the day. We're working with Aglogica, which is a company that is specializing in developing a sensor to put on a dog's collar and be able to tell whether the dog is scratching or shaking, uh, running, walking, resting, things like this, so that they can better manage a veterinary care or intervention if a vet gives medicine to a dog. Being an alumni of Georgia Tech, I had a, a unique opportunity to look at it as I was building AGL and how I could leverage someone who was in my backyard. Georgia Tech is roughly uh, 15 minutes from our home office here. I became aware of a genetic algorithm development technology that was down there. And as I started piecing into it and learning more about it, it became a platform that we could leverage for building out our animal behavior algorithms. My overall hopes would kind of be a new approach towards data-driven medicine. You know, you start with dogs, but we're gonna you know, keep moving forward with that. The idea that all of this data is out there and we can learn and take action from what the data tells us. If you had all sorts of patient descriptors and you can look at how different courses of treatment affected similar patients, I mean, this is all kind of stuff that can enable a, a physician to make much better and more confident treatment plans. Wearable devices, I think, help to bridge that gap of communication. You know, for years, uh, all the way dating back to the old Dr. Doolittle story, uh, we, we've been uh, kind of compromised by our inability to communicate. And as veterinarians, we like to think that uh, over the years we develop decent insight into what various behaviors mean. Uh, but at the end of the day, we have to uh, make treatment decisions based on what we see and observe on the animals uh, and also based on what owners communicate to us. And so the nice thing about this device, it allows us to have a much more objective measurement that doesn't require human observation.